hello and welcome to my channel i know this is a bit late but you can make it for the next year so in this video i'm going to show you how i made this um, valentine mouse he's holding a heart and he's super cute and very simple to do uh, the more time you spend on a piece the neater it becomes so i'm starting off with cordial slivers and i'm shaping the head first I start shaping the head right from the beginning when it's really squishy so I get this shape right and I know how far I have to make it so as you can see I'm shaping the nose and the mouth because the mice have a pointy um, nose and very tiny mouth underneath it so I'm trying to get that shape right adding another piece of work trying to make that pointy face and I know it's really thin so I'm adding the cheeks to it on one side and when I'm happy with one side I'm going to do the same on the other side now this is the head I'm trying to make it a bit bigger So all the features seem balanced. You can see that I've uh, made the eye sockets as well. So I know exactly where the eyes are going to be. So now this seems balanced on both the sides. And I've got a round head. And I'm moving forward and adding eyes. I'm using uh, 8mm plastic eyes and after the eyes I'm adding more to the cheeks so it looks nice and cute chubby cheeked mouse flattening the nose Now I'm shaping the body and uh, it's a barrel shape, cylindrical shape and I'm going to make it firm and the right size so I keep measuring it with the head. So I've got the size of the body right. Then I'm going to attach it. And I'm going all around with my needle so it's secure enough. Turned it upside down and going around till I'm sure that it's fixed securely. I've taken a very thin strand of grey wool and I'm going around the eyes. And I'm going to go all around it until I get a nice shape that is slightly pointy towards the nose now I'm adding white color to it so this is gonna be a gray and white mouse and I'm adding white color this is a merino top Here I'm using very light pink to define the nose and I'm using my thinnest needle that I have. And as you can see I'm shaping the nose and adding color to it. Cutting off the extra bits so it blends well with the white color. I'm sorry, this is not merino top, it's a New Zealand top. And the white pink is the merino top for the nose. And uh, merino is a 
very fine and soft New Zealand top is a bit more on the rougher side but they both work great so now I'm adding grey color to it and I'm trying to blend it so it doesn't have a very sharp end Here I'm adding a little more wool to the front side of the belly and because um, it seemed a bit flat and it should look nice and plump because it's got nice big cheeks. Here I'm using a skewer to make arms and I'm just wrapping some wool around it. Not too much just want a very tiny hand and take it off and just uh, felt it down and you have to keep rotating it so you get a nice round finish and I'm leaving both the edges a bit loose fluffy so it's easier to attach tiny hand that I'm gonna make and the other end to the shoulder so I'm just rounding it off with uh, some light pink color. I'm not adding the tiny fingers. This is going to be just like a glove. And this is the tiny thumb which I made over a toothpick. Just the way you make over the skewer. So it looks like a boxing glove. <laughs> but this is all we need because he's gonna be holding a heart so this is enough and i'm not making super realistic one it's a cute creation so i don't need to get into details i'm just adding some gray color all around it and some white blending them together Then I'm going to attach them to the body. So this is a tiny uh, foot that I'm gonna make. Just folding some cordial sliver. Not too much. Just uh, both the feet should be equal in weight and size trying to get the balance right so if you make two together you get them of the same size and you know that one is if you feel that one is thinner you can add more wool and just to get them balanced and just making trying to make some oval shapes tiny feet and I'm folding in one edge with my needle and making it a bit rounded so the fluff you saw I'm just folding it in with my needle and making it round in shape and once they are nicely rounded I'm just gonna press and then give it a little snip with my scissors so I'm making two little cuts and these are going to be the tiny toes we'll go right into the cut that you've made and stab it down and these are really very small so you have to be careful not to stab yourself and you have to fill down uh, the, the cuts that you've made 
so the toes will become prominent. I'm using my needle, I'm just holding in the toes so they are nice and rounded. So I've zoomed in to show you how exactly the little toes are formed and you have to just tap right in the middle of the cuts. And carefully make them round. When the foot is done, I'm adding a little pink wool, just giving it a little bit of detail. So that's the pad of the foot. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> a little paw. And as you can see, I've left the bottom part as fluffy because I'm going to attach it to the leg. I'm going to fold it in and shape it. For the leg, I've rolled the grey wool that I used for the color and just rolled it up and attached it to the body and placed the foot. Now you can see the the heel. I just folded it in and I've stabbed it down and I'm just trying to get a little bit out because it seemed very short so I haven't made uh, the legs separately I was just rolled full and I've dashed to the body it's the same color that I've used for the back and the head and just stabbing it down, it takes a bit longer this way, but you get the size you want. So the legs are formed right onto the body, and I've attached the feet. And I'm going to make ears out of cardboard, just sketching it out so I get them right. And so both are of the same size. So I'm using Corridale uh, white wool and the grey on top and after I've used my template and given an outline I'm just folding in the rest of the wool and stabbing it down till I get a nice edge. Adding some corded wool in the center and using cardboard template again to get the shape right. I'm giving it an edge with a little more gravel. This makes it neat. I'm gonna make the other ear the same way. Did both of them are done. I'm using my hair straightener to iron them out so they're nice and thin and manageable. I'm just cutting off the extra pieces sticking out I'm using pins to place them and it makes it easier for the placement. 
when you attach the actual ears so the pins help a lot When you're happy with the position, you can just stab down the edges. Giving a little more shade to the sides of the face. And adding more grey color to it. For the heart, I'm using red carded wool and I've just taken a strip and folded both the edges like you would make a pretzel and then I'm stabbing it down to get two nice rounds and if they are not balanced, you can add more wool to make them balanced. And I find it easier to make heart shapes this way. Take a strand and fold both the ends and you get a nice rounded finish. I'm going to work on my heart until I'm happy with the shape. And here it is. And it's nice and neat and I'm happy with that. I'm going to attach it. And stab down the edges of the hands till it's securely holding it. Using the skewer again for the tail, and while wrapping it loosely on the skewer, I took it out and stabbed it roughly because i'm going to attach the whole thing to the body and it's just going to fold over i'm going to make it neat this is the little mouth just a little piece of wool and gave it a rounded edge now i'm attaching it So it's got a little mouth now. Mm, adding little whiskers. This is the fish wire that I've got. And I've just you know, used the owl tool to make the hole. And then glued the edge and pushed it in using a pin as well. So now I'm happy with the mouse and I hope you liked it too and I hope you make your own. Thank you very much for watching and do subscribe for more. Thank you.